Hi folks, my name is Tim Garman for SIT facilitating on NZDP 101. And this is just a quick introduction to Blackboard. And this is uh, including the new Blackboard Ultra interface, which is going to be new to all of us, at least at the start of this year. And here we are sitting on the SIT website. And if you scroll down a little way on this site, you will see uh, this field at the bottom or near the bottom uh, and click the arrow and you'll see you have a blackboard link. Choose the blackboard link and then don't forget to hit go and that will take you into blackboard. Now you'll need to select your course. So go to courses. Now this is going to look a little different at this stage to how your blackboard um, should look because uh, I'm a, a facilitator. So uh, let me just find um, the 101 course that I teach on and I'm in student preview. So hopefully this looks close to how it will look on your version. So have a look down the left hand side. Well, firstly at the top it will just indicate which course you're on. 101 here. Now that's important because I just want to point out that if you are doing multiple courses, it may well be that you're doing the 100 course that Clive Copeman teaches on. Uh, now, that's only one digit difference, 101 and 100. So a lot of students have made the mistake of posting things in the wrong place. If you do that, it's not the end of the world. We can fix it. But do just be careful to make sure you are on the right paper. This is 101. Make sure... Uh, if, you're a, if you want to do 100, make sure it's the right title up there. So 101 we're looking at. Have a look down the left hand side and I particularly want to point out to you announcements. Now you'll see there's no announcements there at the moment, but that's simply because the course hasn't started when I'm recording this video. But uh, there will be some announcements there. Have a look through and uh, there will certainly be probably four or maybe six announcements to begin with at the start of your course. And that will be added to through the course. So um, if there's something specific I want the whole class to, to take note of, I'm going to put it in there. And you should get a notification when there's a new announcement that appears there. So then looking over on the right, we've got uh, welcome. You click on the arrow at the on the right, and we've got some files in here just welcoming you to uh, to this course and to SIT, uh, and uh, a note on what you'll need to complete this course. So have a read of those documents. If you click on the title, you'll see that um, they open up. Um, and to close the window down, just click the X, and we can do that for the second file as well. So let's close that down. Uh, then we've got course materials. Now these are on a timed release. And you'll notice that some of them say content isn't available. That's just to stop you jumping ahead uh, a few weeks and keep everybody on the first week of work. So there's an opportunity to purchase Creative Cloud. Have a look at that link if you want a, a student discount for that. Um, we've got a paper descriptor, the schedule, and uh, then just looking at the discussion board, we'll open that up and you'll see that there's a file there or a PDF loaded. You can click on, um, on the title and that will give you a brief of that particular discussion board. Uh, now, if you want to download that file, uh, you can go to the three dots and we get uh, an opportunity to download. So let's just go back. On the course materials, you'll want to be going into the first week and have a look what's there. There's quite a lot there. First of all, you'll have a study guide. Now that's a study guide just for the first week of work. And there'll be a fair bit to read, certainly in week one, uh, with a bit of background information. Let's just open that up and uh, we'll have a look what's there. Some of the study guides are not so long, but this one has quite a lot in it being the first week. So let's scroll down. 
it explains your study and there's um, a descriptor, course information, recommended textbook, how we mark, a course schedule. Uh, I'm whizzing through this, but you'll have a chance to read this yourself and download it. How to use APA referencing, if you've not come across that before. Um, important information on how you're going to supply the images that you edit. And note that there is a specific um, set of parameters for uh, sizing your file and giving uh, the naming conventions. So that's important to, uh, to do uh, right from the start. So have a read through of those inf that information. And we're going to be looking at that in my next video on how to open up Photoshop and really starting right from the very start. So we've got some information on calibrating your monitor, which I'm going to deal with shortly too. And as you can see, there's a fair bit of uh, information here. I'm going to whiz through because that's uh, quite a lot of reading to, to get through. Information on some of the tools you find in Photoshop, uh, some of the screens. Uh, coming towards page 28. And this details the task for the first week. And it comes in four parts. Um, just starting off with uh, you preparing an email signature for um, when you email me. Uh, no doubt we'll be uh, um, communicating over the SIT webmail at some point. So I'm going to need some information uh, from each of your emails so that I don't need to um, check up each time somebody emails me. So there's, that's an information on setting up an email signature. Part two is uh, just uh, reading, reading through this, this, uh, this uh, rather long PDF. Part three is uh, a photograph of your home workspace. And you're going to be uploading this to uh, the first discussion board, which is actually just called task. So you, you're not grading on this first one. This is really just to see, to, to make sure that you're using Blackboard correctly and you get into grips with uploading images at the right size. So what, when you do that to so the first dis discussion board, uh, introduce yourself to others and maybe talk a bit about your, your own setup. Um, and then we come to the last part, which is editing the Brighton Storm image. Now, there, there is a Brighton Storm image to download from Blackboard, uh, and I'll tell you where that is shortly. Um, and you will be um, creating two different crops from this one image and uploading both of those images. So a bit more about that as we go through. But so uh, that's where your first major task is for this first week. OK, so have a look at that. Um, download it if you need to and uh, uh, read it at your leisure. There's some additional study materials uh, under week one. So if we go in here, we'll find that that's where there's, uh, well, there's two things here. There's uh, the screen calibration test screen that you can download. But also, importantly, there's the Brighton Storm image for the first week's work. That's the image that you will download and edit. So that's under additional study materials. And lastly, and very, a uh, very useful area, video tu tutorials. So for this first week, you're going to get a number of videos. You'll have an introduction to Photoshop, but also an introduction to, to using Camera Raw, which, is, which comes with Photoshop. You may have used uh, Lightroom or Lightroom Classic before. Um, well, this is an introduction to using Camera Raw as an alternative to that. Uh, and then you'll notice we've got some Brighton Storm step-by-step -step tutorials. So we're going to be editing this image called Brighton Storm, and you'll get a step-by-step -step tutorial of that. Um, and there's here, we'll find an older version of Photoshop, just in case you're running an older version. And we'll find a more up-to-date version of Photoshop. 
Now, when I say more up to date, unfortunately, Adobe updates Photoshop several times a year. And so at SIT, we can't keep updating these tutorial videos every time Adobe updates Photoshop. But mostly they're pretty current, uh, our videos. So if there is something that, that's not quite looking the same on your screen as in the video, and you're confused by it, do drop me an email and I will clarify anything for you. And I'm usually pretty good at responding to emails fairly quickly. Okay, so that's all in week one. We've got the study guide, we've got additional materials, which will be things you'll most likely download to edit, and we've got some step-by-step -step tutorials for how to do that. Close that down. You notice week two content isn't available yet. Um, as, week two, uh, as we get to week two, and usually on Friday of the week before, so at the end of week one on Friday, uh, at six o'clock, I believe, uh, that week two to three, the content will become available. And that'll be the same for each week. Uh, on Friday, around about six o'clock of the week before, the content will become available. So that's course materials. Now we'll look at assignments, and you'll notice we've also got these uh, five tabs at the top here. We're, we're still on the first tab, which is the content tab. Uh, assignments, we'll open that up, and you'll see here we've just got two assignments uh, at the moment. That's because others will become available uh, as the course continues. Uh, the first is uh, the task resizing assignment. And that is your Bright and Storm image, because part of uh, working on the Bright and Storm image is resizing it. And that's going to be something you'll need to do every week for all the images that you upload to SIT. As part of your edit, you're going to be resizing the images to the same size, which is 1500 pixels on the longest edge. Uh, more about that as we, uh, as we progress. You notice we also have assignment G, part one. Now, that's also something I'll explain a bit more about, but assignment G, part one, is actually all your discussion board assignments. And when you've completed all your discussion boards, you will have completed assignment G, part one. So you don't have to worry too much about it, but if we open it up, we will find information about what to do on the discussion board. So if we have a look at that, it gives you uh, some information on that. And we scroll down, tells you about um, critiquing each other's images and commenting to other students about their images as they comment about yours. And that's a great way to learn about how to look at your own image and know what kind of editing it needs. So we'll be as as we do that um, to others. We'll be we'll be learning about how to look at our own images and do the same thing. Okay, so let's close that. The next item along the tab is the calendar, and I'm not going to go to, into that specifically because it's set up for intake one, and if you're looking at this later in the year on a different intake it won't make so much sense. However, you will find on the calendar the deadline for your next assignment or discussion board. So always look there to see what's due next. You can also click into that assignment from the calendar to be able to submit your work. Okay, let's have a look at the discussions. So this is where you'll take part in your discussion boards. And we've only got the first one for the first week visible here currently, and it's called Task. So it's not actually called a discussion board because it doesn't count towards your final grade, this first one. Uh, it's just about getting you used to using Blackboard and the discussions area. So if, th if there's a little bit more text, we can click Show More to show all of that. And then we've got an arrow which opens up the area where we can make our posts. So click on the title, 
and we get a field where we can add text uh, as we respond uh, to other students and comment on their works. And you can also uh, use the tools at the top to add in images of your own. And of course, uh, it's a great place to share tips about Photoshop and things that you've learnt. Uh, and just uh, please do remember to be respectful and polite, but uh, I'm sure you will be. So let's close that down. OK, let's have a look at Gradebook. And this is where you'll go to check up on the, the grades that I've given you. Um, as you can see, there's only the first two um, discussion board and, and assignments there for the first week. So this will begin to fill up, obviously, as you work through the paper. Uh, and uh, there'll be more meaningful information there as well as I add grades to your work. Uh, don't worry too much about the current mark here, which is set at E. Um, that will begin to rise towards the end of the course because it's uh, an accumulation of all your grades. Then lastly, messages. Well, actually, we're not going to be using the message area, so we're going to be using the SIT webmail uh, account uh, for me to get in touch with you or you to get in touch with me. So uh, that will remain empty. So that is a quick overview of Blackboard Ultra. Um, if you're confused about anything uh, you see in here or not sure where to go, do drop me an email and I should be able to help you out.